and we're back. You're tuned into Sport Federation TV. I'm Lynn Yukta Chetty. Remember, for the episodes from this show, as well as all the other previous shows we've had, you can like our Facebook page, the Sport Federation TV Facebook page, for information from all the sports available in the country. Joining me now is still softball, and now we have Nuran Williams and Stacey Lee Anthony to give us highlights from the women's team. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Thank well, Stacey Lee, you've been here before, and you're the manager, hey, for the Western Cape ladies team. Yes. Um, tell us how you got involved with the sport. The sport itself, um, as I've mentioned before, uh, it's been part of my life uh, since birth. My parents are very much into softball, and it's, it is a family sport, and it's grown since then. Ah, yeah. since birth, she says, so yeah. <laughs> breastfeeding to, to yes, on the field, on the field. <laughs> and with you, Nuran, how did you get involved? Um, I initially started in primary school, so I've been playing for quite some time now. Yeah. And then uh, one of my teachers, were, she played for the club I currently played for, and then she got us into the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had the pleasure of um, interviewing Karen and Moses, as you know, just before mm -hmm. you came on. Yes. And uh, they were telling us about the Premier League and how amazing uh, the finals were in Lumpopo for the men. And they almost like they won because yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they, they feel so proud of their performance. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, in Gauteng, you ladies did phenomenally. Hey, yes. uh, tell us about that experience. Well, the softball Premier League, it is the first of its kind. So at being at the inaugural <coughs> event was quite challenging and I must say it's produced a lot of excitement and a lot of um, elite e athletes are participating in it. So yeah. for us specifically, out of our seven, out of our seven games, we, mm -hmm. we won six, so we made it to the semi-final. So we look forward to participating in that this coming Saturday. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. is your involvement in the team? Okay, I am uh, a player and I'm a coach the co-captain of this team. Um, I'm a first base. And obviously because this is the first inaugural, inaugural event. event. So I'm also a new player to this league. Yeah. Um, How long have you been playing softball? Softball, I think I've been playing for 20 years now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and have, <laughs> you, uh, have you always like featured in the provincial side on the provincial team? Uh, not, not always. 2008 was my first senior provincial team yeah um, and then yeah I was a new player for a very long time yeah. in my mind because I played under or with or alongside many experienced players yeah. that are that I've looked up to for many years so, yeah. yeah what is the selection process like though uh, Stacey Lee <coughs> I mean uh, how did you you've got so much of players and I know softball is is, is quite a prominent sport in the Western Cape um, how did you select the the, the creme de la creme of the ladies to, to wow. participate in the in the Premier League? It definitely is a tough um, task to do. Um, we have a selection team and talent identification offices within uh, the Western Cape. And basically um, watching games and also trialing. So there's a squad, mm. like with the um, softball Premier League, we have a squad of 25 players and only 17 get chosen to represent the Western Cape female ladies, well, ladies team, and we call the Pelicans. So it's tough to go because you couldn't think of a nicer bird. Than <laughs> well, Pelicans. we we actually didn't have a choice. It was given to us, and we've taken it by the beak, and we are <laughs> soaring <laughs> by the beak. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Nuran, the, uh, the inaugural event, and you mm -hmm. said. For a long time, you were kind of a development player and then you got into the provincial side and selected to play mm -hmm. uh, in the Premier League. Uh, tell us about some of the highlights there in Gauteng. Well, it was challenging um, because we played seven, yeah, seven yes, games yeah. back to back over two days. So that was taxing on a lot of our bodies and um, mm -hmm. on our minds because softball, as much as it's a physical game, it's also very mental. much a mental game. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's... <laughs> and which, which were some of the teams that you had to uh, play in the event in order to qualify now for the semi-finals? Well, we played a playoff, so we played all the prov all the provinces. Yeah. Um, oh, and they were 8A? Yes. Yeah. Um, two of them were very tough. Yes. <laughs> I have to admit, two of them were very tough. And um, 
not saying that the other games weren't as mm. challenging, but two of them were very tough and it tested our team and um, our knowledge of the game. And yeah, so yeah. The, the, the little knowledge that we have, it got us to where we yeah. will be yeah, now this yeah. weekend. <laughs> well, uh, it must be it must be so lovely. First of all, being Cape Townians, mm -hmm. and now in yeah, in the okay. coming weekend, you get to play on home ground in Turf Hall, which yeah. is uh, the home of softball yeah. in <laughs> the Western <laughs> Cape. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you're expecting your supporters there in full force. Hey? Oh yes, we are. Um, all our families are here, so they'll <laughs> definitely be down. Especially if they know what's good for them. <laughs> 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 I also just want to let you know that lots of preparation has gone into this. I mean. It's been quite a taxing time, like um, Nuran explained, <coughs> playing back to back um, mm. at the beginning of the month. But we've made it this far. Our, our coaches and our management team invested so much time into just creating um, different strategies at trainings. Um, so we, we're ready for game situations. We're ready for fielding drills, batting techniques, communication methods. So I feel that I'm extremely confident with my team and we are going to you're the team on. manager hey yes i am <laughs> yeah and i'm sure when they go collect that gold you're also going to be there absolutely <laughs> <laughs> well uh, Nuran, uh, going in now you've got 17 uh well you've got a squad of 25 and 17 mm -hmm. get selected on the day or on the time to participate yes mm -hmm. so they we pre-selected yeah so the 17 know who they are so they're going into game mode, mode. now already. Yes. Yeah. Which other provinces are in that semis? Uh, Limpopo is the the semi that we will be playing, and Ooh. then um, Gauteng Roses. Yes. They are in the final already. Okay. Maybe so you can play them for their name. Hey, they can swap pelicans. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Limpopo. Um, uh, Western Cape and Gauteng. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's just three. Yeah. Three teams, just the yeah. three. This, like, well, this round. Yeah. Um, well, because we played everyone in Gauteng. Yeah. So the, the top three qualified to come to Cape Town, and then two and uh, position two and three will be playing a semi final. Right. And the winner of the yeah. label obviously versus the Gauteng Roses, which in is the final. Yeah. Yeah. In the grand final. <laughs> well, with, uh, with so the so Saturday will be the semi-finals. Do you play the finals on Saturday as well? Or? Yes. yes. Wow. It's all on one day. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're going to be like a varum, eh? Yeah. For that, <laughs> <laughs> <for> that <laughs> final. Yes. I mean, going from seven games to two in one, that's, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <cake>. Yeah. <laughs> so how do, uh, can people just come and support and do they need to Absolutely. buy um, tickets or anything like that? Um, usually there's an entry fee at the door just for the parking and that, but yeah. I'm not quite sure what the <coughs> arrangement is this time. Yeah. But please don't be discouraged. Please come and support the sport. The sport is phenomenal. There are lots of opportunities that come mm. from it. And we obviously want to encourage everybody from five-year-old to 95-year-old to please come out. Yes, and come bring in that hip replacement. <laughs> come <laughs> play come softball enjoy, with us. Enjoy <laughs> the, um, the softball. You, you're watching elite players perform. The athletes are yeah. ready. And also just feel the softball kiss. Yeah. Or if anything, they can just watch you girls interact with each other and have a good laugh. Eh? Oh, <laughs> 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 So, so what's going to be the setup there at Turf Hall besides the, you know, the entertainment which is going to be watching the games? Will there be food stands? Will there be activities or anything like that? Um, from what we know, um, it's not just the ladies' final; it's the men's as well. Right. So the very first game is the men's semi-final, <coughs> then followed by the ladies' semi-final, and then the men's final, and then the grand final. Oh, beautiful! So at least one match at a time, and yeah. everybody can support. Absolutely. And I hear Limpopo is also quite a strong team. Hey. Yes, they do come yeah. out in full force, and. They are. Yes, we are ready for them. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Did you hear that, Limpopo? <laughs> Western Cape is ready yeah. for you. Oh, ladies, it's always such a pleasure. Your energy yeah. is great. All the best. Thank Make Western you. Cape proud. And softball has won an accolade this year. Yes. Tell us about that, Stacey. Yes, we've just, um, it's just been announced that we're the Federation of the Year, which is amazing. Mm. <laughs> so we, we're quite honored because softball doesn't always get the publicity or mention that it deserves. So we're very mm -hmm. proud to be associated with such an awesome sport. And in saying that, um, our elite athletes, they have so much to give. 
So the dream is for them to then use their skills, just like Moses Malaba, as one of the top pitchers in the Western Cape, to teach our youth and encourage them and set them up for success. Because there, yeah. there's so many opportunities within the sport. That yes, yes. And for many children, about. the only hope they have is through sport. Mm -hmm. So we must give back. All the yeah. best, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs> Okay, and uh, that's it from softball. Remember, you can catch all the action uh, from the Premier League at Turf Hall Stadium this weekend. Coming back after the break, we'll be taking a look at baseball. Please stay tuned for that.